Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you my Taurus GX4 out on the range. Now these are going to be the first shots you've seen with this particular GX4. Although check my Taurus playlist because I've done an unboxing, an initial review, and I also showed some footage of a couple other GX4s that I shot earlier this year when I was down in Georgia. And I had a lot of fun making this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Now the holsters you see here, these are Forge Tech, and Forge Tech is my favorite holster company, guys. First of all, excellent value. And they're also made in the USA right here in Michigan. And when I say made in the USA, like literally not just assembled here, but every single last component down to the screws, fasteners, clips, everything. So definitely check out Forge Tech. And if you guys are interested more about this Taurus GX4, IWB holster or its counterpart here the OWB with this really nice clip fastener system that I really like here let me know down in the comments and I'll get a standalone video on these holsters out very soon but very high quality at an affordable price guys and I really recommend Forge Tech and in the meantime until I get that holster video done if you're doing any shopping there you can use code 2A EDU and save five percent and for those of you that are supporting the channel there's a ten percent code so make sure you're checking your patreon post channel members posts here on youtube as well as locals i get no kickback off of either of these codes guys it's just a special thanks to all of my viewers from forge tech and i know you guys really like his holsters so go over there and check it out for all the different options with these so I'm going to show you this range footage in just a second. So this was kind of like the initial test for this pistol. And I'll tell you guys right away, I really enjoyed shooting it. It's a pleasure to shoot. Very compact package. The ergonomics are really good. This is a lot like, you know, the G2C, G3C, G3. Although this pistol is drastically different, it still just fits my hand perfectly. Taurus has been doing a really good job of that in their recent offerings in the last few years. And this pistol was no different and really liked shooting it. Really liked the trigger. I love how high the capacity is for such a small little package. 11 rounds with flush fit. Here you see the pinky extension. As well as the 13 round. Great little gun very nice shooter so I didn't want to just shoot it with the same type of ammo so you're also going to see a variety of ammunition just again just to see what you guys think I know you guys use a wide variety of offerings you're going to see stuff like this wolf steel case some of this federal 115 grain brass case this is the famous Walmart stuff from yesteryear some of this Salier and Balot Brass cased, 115 grain. Also some of this Winchester white box NATO. NATO is roughly synonymous with plus P. So this is a little bit hotter stuff. This is ammo I really like. As well as one that you guys have been asking me about. And this would be the Federal Centec range ammo. 124 grains. So we're going to check it out. A variety of different mags. Different mag you know, configurations types of ammo and let's head out to the range and I'll show you my experiences and see what you guys think. Just taking a quick look at my range for Susan and all her friends. As you can see, we're literally out in the middle of nowhere. Quite beautiful actually. Completely proper backstop, certified range, RSOs and everything. So this is how we do it out here. All right, so I got the GX4 out at the range. Pretty excited to try it out for you. I'm going to start off with the 11 round flush fit mag. This is with the Winchester white box NATO. Then we're going to switch to the pinky extension. Then the 13 round. All right, so as you can see, it ran the first mag flawless. Have the slide open on the last round. 
shot all right without the pinky extension, but I think I'd like somewhere to put the pinky. So let's check this out next. Eleven more rounds to run them like a top. Pinky definitely helps. Nice little addition there. Now the 13 round. This is the 11 round with a plus two mag extension. And it's also going to give me a spot for my pinky. So. Yeah, this is basically plus P ammo, Winchester white box. It's handling it pretty good. Those are the first three mags out of this pistol, out of the box, and so far as you can see, flawless. I'm going to go back over to the truck and load up a couple other types and be right back with you. Thanks to Alaskan Ballistics, my friend and fellow YouTuber. Make sure you check his channel out. We were hanging out down south, and he gave me this box of ammo, so... Thanks, dude. So now we're gonna do three more. Same three mags you just saw. This is with the Cellier and Balot, 115 grain. So let's see how the GX4 likes this. No problem. Noticeably less recoil than the NATO ammo, but this 115 grain standard pressure is running pretty good. All right, let's try the pinky extension. Flawless. This gun's really not that snappy. I can tell with the chassis construction, there's a lot of rigidity in this little pistol. Really comfortable, and I've still got 13 more rounds here. Flawless. You know what? I could shoot this thing all day and I think I might so I'm gonna go load this up again I told you a second ago. I could shoot this all day and I wasn't joking So now we're gonna run these three mags again with some federal 115 grain round nose ball ammo. I've been shooting this stuff for a long time. It's been pretty tried and true So let's see what the GX4 thinks of the federal Not a problem. All right, let's try out the picky extension. Same ammo. Got this one. Smooth. Now thirteen. This pistol's literally been flawless so far. And guess what? I'm actually not tired of shooting it yet, so I'm gonna go back and load up three more mags. And very special thanks to a viewer and friend of mine, Steve Wagner. He actually sent this ammo to the channel to help out, and I appreciate you, man. Thank you. 
All right, so now let's run some Federal Syntec. This is the synthetic jacket, 124 grain, flat nose. See what the GX4 thinks of the Federal. Ate it up like nothing. Medium recoil, maybe a little bit more than the 115 grain, but definitely not as much as the NATO. All right, picky extension. It's crazy, guys, when I'm going down there hitting the backstop, I can actually see those little pieces of red from this synthetic jacket kind of flickering down there. So it gives me a little bit of a show too. All right, 13 rounds. Still running flawless, and I'm still not tired of shooting it yet. This thing's a pretty rigid little pistol, handling the recoil just fine. Guess what? I'm going back to the truck and load these up again. All right, so I just loaded up the three mags again, and this is the spot right here in the video. I'm going to give you a second to make sure you put away all your women and children. Yeah, I'm getting ready to shoot some steel case. Now, some of you that are afraid it's going to shoot your gun, you might want to look away. Now, this channel is totally family friendly, so... Bring the women and kids back. We're gonna run some Wolf Steel Case. Some of you hate it, some of you love it, and I like to shoot a lot of steel case through my pistol, so naturally, I'm gonna test it in this GX4, and we'll all see if it'll run it or not. Wolf, 115 grain, full metal jacket, by metal projectile, steel case. Loving rounds like it's nothing. And I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. This Wolf's actually snappier than the 115 grain Federal and Sully and Balat. It's not necessarily weak ammo. Although you should decide if you want to shoot it or not. All right, let's try the pinky extension. Eleven more. I'm not surprised. I shoot a lot of steel case guys, but let's see what the 13 round mag does. Thirteen. This gun's yet to hiccup, and I think I'm up to about five different types of ammo, so I'm not tired of shooting it yet, but I need to go back and save up some more money for some more ammo. We'll bring this out on the range again very soon. These are the first shots. No editing. You guys are going to see all of it. Not one single male function. So to say I'm impressed would probably be an understatement. Really, really fun gun to shoot. It just fed a variety of ammo. I'll bring it back out with some hollow point, HST, stuff like that that you're going to want to know about, but I think this was a pretty good first day. Hold on, I have a little more bonus shooting footage of this pistol. Let's see what a girl's perspective of it is. What'd you think so far? Yeah. Oh, there is it.
So what did you think about it? Good. Looks good. What about compared to the GX4 that you just shot? Which one do you like better? GX4. The GX4? Yeah. Really? Seems like the G2C is just a little more accurate though, doesn't it? I didn't do very good. Well, you clipped the you clipped the bullseye. We'll count that one. I got that. I got one there too. Oh yeah, this was your second group in here. Hey, not bad. Well, I think she did just fine, and Linda enjoyed shooting it. Now, for how small this pistol is, I'm gonna emphasize the recoil is actually quite manageable. You'd be surprised. And while I love the G2C, and she does too, she actually preferred shooting the GX4, so there you go. Well, like I said when I opened this video, I think you guys can see how much fun I had shooting this little pistol. I've shot it since I did this recording, and I'll do some more filming if you guys would like. I think maybe due to some questions I've had, I'll do a GX4 versus G3C. Some of you guys are wondering, what's the size comparison? How do maybe the triggers differ? Just different things like that. And there are some noticeable differences. And while I enjoy both guns, I think it just kind of depends what you're using it for and what your purpose is. So again, down in the comments, if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Opinions on this pistol so far are very favorable. I really like it a lot, and I'll do more videos on this again soon if that's something you guys are interested in. All right. Thanks for all the support, guys. You guys help make these videos possible. I paid for this ammunition. A couple friends of mine and viewers helped me out with a little bit of it, and I really appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.